Hello there fellow YouTubers and comic book fans, this is Angel of Hydra and Hill Hydra. If they cut off one head, two more shall take its place. Hail Hydra. So welcome back after a long delay of not making videos because I'm going to move out soon and I didn't have time to think of any ideas. I'm finally back with a new video, it's my Age of Shield Season 3 predictions. Now, Season 2 went out with a bang and I loved every second of it. We got a surprise villain review, not the greatest a villain as I hoped it would be. And I didn't get what I wanted, which was what well, I told Baker. I'm real serious, sad about it. But it's okay, because we have Season 3 of Agent of Shield and Season 2 of Agent Carter. I can't wait but to see more of it. So for right now, we have my Age of Shield Season 3 predictions. So here are my predictions. Let's start. First, we will see Daisy Johnson with Secret Warriors. Now, I think Nick Fury will be replaced with Phil Coulson, because that's what's ha been happening for a long time now, because Coulson is technically director of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, but who will be part of Secret Warriors? Well, I assume Sky, aka Daisy, aka Quake, will be the leader, but who will be a member is totally, well, unknown to me, because I'm not too familiar with Secret Warriors, to be honest, and I have no idea who will be part of it. That's a mystery to me. I assume Lincoln will be part of it in any way, or he'll go back to Inhumans. That's really uncertain. Lincoln is a good guy, and I really like him. I hope they, that Luke Mitchell sticks around for more, because he's a really great actor, and I really enjoy his character. It's so fun. So, I think Lincoln is will be part of Secret Warriors, but that's all I got. For the rest, we have to wait for more announcement, because I have no idea who else. Maybe Simmons with new Inhuman powers, because she was swallowed up by the obelisk and no that obelisk is not venom that would make not wouldn't make any sense but secret warriors or a version of secret Wars is definitely what i think we're going to get now next fear next prediction and hope is that ian hart will return as franklin hall aka graviton we haven't seen him since season one and we haven't seen ian quinn either and i really always hoped we would see graviton Graviton could be the big bad of season 3, or maybe even season 4, or maybe the first ha half or latter half of season 3 or 4, or, or anyway. I mean, they teased him so good, it would be dumb not to use him eventually. I get that they want to wait, because Graviton is quite a big villain with a whole set of great bi and big powers which are really, really, really hard to do. But what I would really like to see is make Graviton an appearance or maybe just a tease that Graviton is coming. Because that's what the ha I haven't seen all season. I want to see Graviton back because it's such a big villain and we don't. I don't want him to end up as the leader. Basically forgotten. Sorry, that was my phone. But I feel like he will just otherwise be forgotten just like the leader. And that I find is really sad. So... Let just so fingers crossed that we hope we see a tease or we will see Graviton back because Ian Hart is really truly a great actor and I just hope to see him as Graviton. I think it'd be really interesting to see. Uh, now the next and final prediction I didn't predict much maybe I'll do a, a two but Grant Ward will be the big bad of season three. Now I think he is not really the leader of Hydra, but he's aiming to be. He's aiming to be the big bad of the season. Maybe that all this time they've been building him up. For me, he is kind of similar to uh, Klaus from the Vampire Dies in the originals. I mean, he just can't be redeemed for some reason. And every time there's a chance for redemption, uh, well, it just blows away. It just goes over the head. It's, he managed to ruin it. Every time there's a chance for redemption, like Klaus, he ruins it by doing something that's, not, uh, that's going to make him even more to be not trusted. So in that sense, maybe Grant has been building up for such things. I really like Grant's character, and well, with Agent 33, aka okay, Kara dead, I think now we'll, we'll, it's a time to spike. Is his romance with Sky really over? I hope not, it's fun. And otherwise, but who will Grant be? Will he be the big bad? I think he's certainly capable of doing that. But for that, I'm going to, it, going, I will be going into a theory that's been circling around here that Anna recently discussed with my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Buyer the Movie Nerd. And that is that Grant Ward is actually Taskmaster. Now, this is just a theory and it's not confirmed. I have no idea if Grant Ward is Taskmaster because I don't see any attributes related to Taskmaster on, Gr on Grand Ward. He could always become it, but we know his real name is Grand Ward, unless of course he's going to use Tony Masters as an alias, which is always a possibility. I mean, they use aliases all the time in uh, this kind, these kinds of series. So, could Grand Ward with Tasma be Taskmaster? 
I wanted to see Tyrant Master for a long time. I think he'd be a great fit for me to be a villain on Age of Shield. As the, the villains we had, like John Garrett, Whitehall, and Jia Ying, I think he could truly be a great villain to, to appear finally. And I just really hope that, well, that'd be Grant Ward. That'd be great, but I don't think it is. It it could, It's just a theory at this point. It could be true, but I don't have my hopes up for it. Either way, hopefully Grant can be go going on to his gr to his true potential now, and I can't wait. Brad Tolton is an amazing actor, I love him on the show, and we'll see what happens. So those were my theories, people. Here is my end screen. I made it myself. So herein and in the link down below, you can look my all my social media, my Facebook page, which is a cosplay page, my Twitter account, and my Instagram. And above you see two other icons. These are my other channels. So right here we have uh, my main channel, Von Shocker, and here you have my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, Puppet Master, with also some fun Marvel-related things. So please, let me know what you thought of this video, give it a like, and subscribe if you, if you love more, and give me suggestions for videos I can do in the future. So, thank you all for watching this video, and as always, Hail Hydra!